workforce planning in SAP Analytics Cloud. Still flexible, but much more efficient than Excel. In this McCoy TV, we will show you how fast you can do your workforce planning and how this can change your forecasting process. And next to the improvement of the planning processes, we will also show you the reporting capabilities. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Matthijs van Kota, business planning expert by McCoy. My latest project has been on improving and creating financial forecasting processes, and did this by multiple companies. But enough talking, let's dive into the details. For that, we have yours, our business planning developer, in a turtleneck, so he knows what he's doing. So yes, I will now do the demo for the workforce planning. Um, now, first of all, this is just a regular SOC story we're in now, eh? so it's not an application or anything fancy. Uh, and uh, as you can see at the top, we just have our regular story filters. Um, now, we will do the following simulation here, uh, a July forecast running for 12 months to June 2024. We will do our FTE planning, then some driver planning, uh, and then check some reporting later on. Uh, but first of all, let's go to the FTE planning. Now. Here's our FTE planning and we will be planning on a company, cost center, location, pay grade, etc. All those levels we will plan uh, the FTE. And we have our actuals available. And I know they are, they are correct, so I will uh, load them through. And for that I use this button. Now it will now copy through to the forecast. Now is it all loaded correctly as you can see. And uh, this looks fine, but most importantly, if you look at the bottom one, which has a person with an end date, and that's also been taken into account. So now let's do some planning. So first of all, I know that your time will decrease the FTE from 1 to 0 0.8 from January onwards. So let me input that. Then secondly, we know someone will join the company, which we will add like this. So we will add a member and this person is actually uh, Freek van Hoof, we select that person and his start and end date um, will, also be, will also have to be set. Now that's all set, so now let's uh, do the input. So we do a one and we just drag it through till the end of the forecast. So that's done. Now one more change uh, we want to do. We know Hank de Vries will be leaving, so we will want a replacement for that, but we don't have a specific person yet, so we will use a more generic uh, job requisition. So you select that one, and again set the start and end date. to start the end date to the end of 2025. Now let's do some input here. And that should do it. Yeah, and then at the bottom you see our norm salaries and bonus percentage, which will come into play uh, when we do our driver planning. That was the first part. Well, that was very smooth. And are you as excited as yours is about this? Leave behind a comment or send us an email and so we can see how we can help you. Yes, so welcome back to the demo. Now we just did our FTE planning and now we want to do our driver planning. Um, so yeah, let's uh, dive right in. Yeah, so here is our driver planning and we will first do a salary increase, which will be done on a company and pay grade level. Um, yeah, and uh, we know a few things we want to do here. So first of all, for Great Britain, we know there will be a salary increase for February onwards of 4%. So we let's input it like this. And for the Netherlands, we also know there's a salary increase, but it's already in January and it's 5%. So I guess they're lucky. Um, so let's input it like that. <coughs> and then we have one more small change. Um, so in September here, we will uh, do a uh, uh, 10% as well, so they will basically be corrected. Now next up are our social charges. Uh, for now we won't do any planning here, it's just to give you an idea that this is also possible. Eh? So this is uh, per month basically planned as a percentage of your salary. Um, 
And last up for planning now is the other costs, which we will do very generic. We'll just take our actuals, copy it in, um, and yeah, that's basically it. So obviously we can also automate that, but for now we just wanted to show you this option. And here there's all kinds of options eh, that Saka has available. So you can do plus 10% or plus 10 or plus 100, all those kinds of inputs. Now lastly, there's the bonus percentage, which we will not change, but just to show. Now, we all want, we want this all to be calculating to, uh, to actual costs. So we use this button. And now it will take all the FTEs we planned, make sure the salaries are increased with the salary increases, calculate social charges, etc. Uh, and that will all lead to the costs and it, it only takes a few uh, seconds so it's done um, and now we will change to the Netherlands just for a bit uh, simpler overview and we go to the next page yeah and as you can see this is just the regular SOC reporting with some KPIs with some bar charts and line charts um, but yeah anything you can envision in SOC is also possible here um, and also importantly, at the bottom, you can really see the results eh, as, uh, as uh, the actual costs that have been calculated. So yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Maybe if you like this video, you would be interested in our business planning webinar. This is available on our website. Stay tuned for the next one. Goodbye.